Okay, great. So now that we've seen how to set up a new Vaadin project with Maven on IntelliJ IDEA, and remember that IntelliJ IDEA supports Maven by default. It comes with all versions of IntelliJ. Now we'll take a look at how to set up a new Vaadin project on IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate, and how Ultimate can make that process even easier for us. So we'll open up the new project wizard, and we'll create a new Vaadin project. IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition has support for many web application frameworks. Vaadin is just one of them. You can see all of them here. And I'll select a new Vaadin project, and I'll need to point IntelliJ IDEA to my local Vaadin distribution. Here it's located on C in Windows. And I'll tell it to create a sample application for us as well to get us started. And next we'll select an application server. IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition has support for a ton of application servers. You can see them here, Geronimo, Glassfish, JBoss, just a few. Jetty included, also Google App Engine. So I've installed Tomcat locally. We'll just use that for now, and we'll call this Vaadin Tomcat Demo. And what this does is it sets everything up for us, and IntelliJ will create all the bindings for that particular web application and the framework and all that good stuff. Then our server, our Tomcat server, will pick up uh, the deployment and then just run that in the background. So let's see how that works. So we have a new Vaadin application here. And we recognize that this is more or less the same thing as what we'd seen before. So I'll delete this in here and say develop Vaadin with pleasure. Okay, good. So now let's say we want to run this thing. We can just press Shift F10 in order to start up the application on the Tomcat server. Or let's say this time we want to debug it, right? So we can just press Control F8 to set the breakpoint in this method. So you see the breakpoint is uh, on the first line of the init method. And then we can just press Alt Shift F9 to start the debugger. And what this will do is it will start up the Tomcat server and connect to it. And you'll notice that I don't have to do anything. It'll interact with the browser now. Um, open up a connection to our local application server. And then we can Alt Tab back to the IDE and see that it's waiting for us right where we told it. Okay, now I'm going to show you something really cool. So let's say we've changed our mind, and we want to change something about the implementation of the method, but we don't really want to restart the debugger. So what we can do is we can just say we want to print this 10 times or something like that, right? I'll just surround this with a for loop, and let's say So now what this will do once I step over the breakpoint is it will upload the new bytecode for this method into the JVM while it's running. This is called hot swapping. And it will replace that with the existing implementation of the method, right? There's one caveat, and that's you can't change the method signature because then it messes everything up. If you change the method signature, then it won't be able to reconcile any of the existing bytecode with your new signature. So if you have to change a method signature, then you might as well just recompile it and debug it again. So that being said, let's reload our local changes and see what happens. Now watch very carefully. The class has been reloaded, so we're going to resume the program by pressing F9. And you can see that the output here is just one label. Now let's refresh this page so that it hits our init method once more and go back to our IDE. Now let's step through the method line by line. Now the debugger has been running this whole time, and you can see that it's picked up our new for loop. So let's resume the program, and now let's see how many times it's been outputted. Sure enough, there's 10 lines of output. So this is just one way that IntelliJ helps you speed up your development workflow. And where this really counts is when you have a large project that takes forever to debug. Um, you don't want to be recompiling it every single time. And by the way, the hot swappable debugger is a standard feature in the IntelliJ Community Edition as well. Awesome. So you've seen how to get started building rich web applications on Vaadin with IntelliJ IDEA. I'm Brendan, and you're watching JetBrains TV, brought to you in part by Vaadin. Demand better software.